Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President, dogs, cats, birds, Queen Elizabeth, Prince George, small organisms, Robert Downey Jr., teeny tiny bacteria, Her Royal Highness Miss Martin, and Spencer, we are gathered here today to celebrate the unfortunate and untimely death of the great quarter queen, Samantha Ruffin Christine Woman Brown. Samantha, sorry. Fondly called Sam, Sammy, or Ruffin McLovin by all who knew her was 18 years old when she passed from an unfortunate encounter plummeting off the Empire State Building with Mission Impossible music playing in the background, involving, ironically, her three favorite animals, a three-toed sloth, a giraffe, and a pug, and also her favorite Harry Potter book. Sam was known for her sparkling personality, her incredible dance moves, her lightweight, I'm so sorry, <laughs> her lighthearted personality. Um, the way that she properly said the word pecan and cut caramel. Her talent to have 40 plus filled pauses in every speech she gave and her fascinating ability to make any situation awkward. Sam loved many things in her life despite people thinking that she only loved herself. She loved her Harry Potter books, her coffee, her infuriating darling little sister, her mother, Mama Bee, her father, Chief, Yik Yak, Twitter, Quarters, her squad, the fam, and her beloved pug, Sir Frank Chubbs the second. Sam is survived by her family, her fam, her friends, and her beloved squad, who she went into weird detail about. Cody with a K, who always had her back since day one. Cody with a C, who was cute as a button when he threatened to stab her that one time in class. Spencer, who never failed to make her laugh and had an equally enthusiastic love of Christmas music, and who she hoped to marry once he got his boots. Obviously, that's not going to happen now. I heard he was doing some Calvin Klein modeling thing now. Good good for you, Spence. Ty, who... Ty. Blake, who was really, really tall. John Taylor Arnold, who has three first names. Gabby, who made that awkward speech about admiring her, but whose hair is always on point. Rebecca, who never fails to be just as sassy back to her. Clayton, who taught her how to two-step. Tyler, who gave her that wonderful speech on chickens. Amanda, who started the group meet. Chase, who gives wonderful hugs. Lauren, who does that nose thing. Carly, aka Elsa. Matt, who is a PC, not a Mac. Michael, who has lots of hats. Brianna, who left the group me. Shelby, who kind of reminded her of Anna Kendrick. Drew, who did that one thing that one time. He had a beard. It's kind of cool. Hamilton, who, despite his quiet demeanor, lives a hella cool life. Kyle, who drinks so much Monster, she's shocked that his heart hasn't stopped yet. Jake, who's the frattiest of all frat dudes and whose shirt looks good. Eves, he is the captain now. Ruth Martin, who's hands down one of the coolest teachers she thinks she's ever had and who she hopes one day will get her purple Mustang. Kevin, whose tinted glasses are super fashion forward. And most importantly, Reese. I think his name really does kind of just say it all. I've already apologized to her friends and to her family about this, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for taking Sam to Chicago and doing that Ferris Bueller's Day Off thing. I didn't know dead bodies were so fragile. Sam's last wish, according to her questionably damaged will, was to shoot her out of a cannon while dolphins jump in the background and do flips and shit. Am I allowed to say shit? While everyone drinks a pina colada in Cancun. Oh, obviously virgin if you are not of age as I would have done. Her words exactly. Can't change it. In conclusion, Sam was a wonderful person who had an incredible life, awesome friends, and a truly wonderful squad. Uh, it's really tragic that we had to lose her so soon. I know she had big plans in life. She wanted to start that pug farm. And, you know, maybe, maybe Cancun 2016. But, um, I'm sure her seat in hell is keeping her really nice and toasty. Thank you.